okay so in this second video i would like to show you the uh, final portion of my sda lab um if you don't know what i'm talking about i will put the first video in the description so but a brief of of, of this lab is that uh now i was i mean i was able to provision the provision and add to my fabric the border control plane node one and the border control plane node two uh, but i was missing a fabric h device so in this case um, i add this fabric h device to my fabric and let's uh let me open the cisco catalyst center and you will see here uh, let me go to my fabric side um i have this side that i call brickel and this is my fabric h device right so you can see here all the details i'm using the cisco catalyst 9k and it's the virtual one and what is the difference about the configuration that you have between the border control planes and the fabric edges that the first thing that you will see and let's go to to that configuration uh, let me open the fabric edge device. So the first thing that you will see here are the VLANs. You will have now, oh my God, uh, show VLAN. You will have the segments that you created in your, um, during your um, design. And for example, I have these two SBIs, uh, one is the corporate and another is the AP. And you will have also the dot one x portion, which is, um, you will see the different uh, policies and you will have the different templates, right? That is for close authentication or in case you don't want to have it or use any authentication, you will be also to use this template. Another important thing that you will see here is the Cisco TrustSec. Um, you can see here that I have the security groups. I create two new security groups, the Corp User PC and the Linux Server. Right? That's another important thing that you will see in these devices. So during the, um, when you use Cisco Catalyst Center, you can assign the ports. This is my Fabric H device, and you can assign these ports, ports to a specific VLAN or a specific SGT. So for example, I'll pick this one configured uh, It's for user devices. Here you can, you know, select the, the SBI or the segment basically that you want to use for this specific port the SGT and you can apply the configuration. Now, that's, that's not really scalable, right? Because imagine you have, um, I don't know, 25 Catalyst 9400 and you have different line, car, line cars on, on those specific devices. I mean, it will take forever for you to basically configure all the ports, right? So in this case, um, what we're gonna do, and let me clean this, is I have this PC, this PC is a Windows machine. This PC is part of the Active Directory, and also this PC trusts the same CA, which is my Windows Server 2019, right? So this Windows Server is going to use EAP, TLS for authentication. So it's going to send the request. The Fabric Edge is going to send that request to ICE. And ICE is going to configure, or, yeah, it's going to push the VLAN, which it match the same VLAN that I have configured in this specific Fabric Edge which is the corporate, right? So in that case, 
you the endpoint will after pass the authentication and an authorization um, the windows machine will get access to the network right in this case something that i want to add here is that the fabric edge is going to use radius for that specific uh, request or that access request so let me clean this okay now ice is also a, a virtual machine that i have here and during the first video you will see that i have my sd1 also so everything here is up and running and that's the reason why that device will be able to authenticate uh using ice right so let's start with that portion and let's get some captures so we might be able to identify the packets for this uh, process and let me first check what is the status of that interface okay for comfy interface you have it in one file let me disable this port um clear authentication sessions and let's see this windows machine okay let's see what we have here okay let me close this let me go to okay my adapter is disabled and this is start some Wireshark captures here so we will see the the request uh let's capture the port one of five mm -hmm. okay and let's also capture the port one oh two let's go here capture one two let's see okay okay i see some packets here that's good let me remove this byte let's go here and let's apply a filter that is for uh, use and here we want to see only ip packets and let me also okay i need to open also um ice so we can see the locks there um okay oh okay why okay so let's go to ice okay let's authenticate here um we are gonna see the logs here about that specific pc okay so let me go to cisco let's go to pa -pa -pa operations live logs okay i see some cts requests 209 okay so let's try to first let me enable this port or you know what let's first enable the line car here and then enable this port let's see if we can capture some packets here okay i see the request of identity uh, let me remove the packet bytes so this is the fabric edge requesting the identity of that pc let's see if we can you can see here that we are using it 8021x you will see here the identity that we are using 
and here you can see that we are using EAP TLS for this authentication. And let me see what is the status of this port. Okay, the authentication failed. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happened here because sometimes it's about the setting of this portion. Okay, we have a specific authentication mode. Okay, that looks good. So let's see the logs from ICE to the two. Let's open these. Let's try to refresh. The last one was 209. This is a new one. Let's copy. Okay, but this is, this is not. 115 okay so i think this is the mac address of that windows machine let's see let's confirm that here okay 29 okay okay i see an ip so i don't know why the authentication failed mm. uh let's see details okay no i don't have an ip I don't know why I saw an IP before. Uh, and let's see what's going on here. I have this PC. And let's see, because it seemed it was passing the authentication. Authentication succeed. You see the fabric age look back, the port. Let me let me enable uh, disable and enable again that specific interface because it seems that the the PC passed the authentication, so I'm not quite sure why it's not taking this. Mm, okay, so authentication. Let's see here what we have. Okay, it's trusting that a specific CA that's for authentication, and this is the certificate that is assigned. Not not assigned is the root CA basically. So let me. Okay, so let me disable this, and let's see if we can. Try one more time. Let's see if we can see something here. Okay, here we see that it's failing. Let's see what happened here. Stop responding. Supplicant so stop responding twice. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, what I found is that, you know, that these catalysts uh, or the catalyst or the virtual ones are not really stable. It's something that I mentioned in the first video. It's, it's working, but sometimes it takes a lot or there is a lot of latency on those devices. So let's see if this device is able to authenticate because it seems that it passed authentication the first time. And then, for example, in this case, you will see that now pass again. And let's see here, the Windows machine. And I'm pretty sure it's matching all the policies that I have. This is the authentication, and this is the authorization policy. And even the, you have the IP here. So, uh, I mean, it looks like it's working. So let's... Uh, yeah, but it's taking a lot of time for this authentication. Mm, okay, even I see the success here and the access request, access accept also, you know? So it seems that it's getting, let's see if we can, the first thing that you need to check here is that uh, we saw the credentials before and you also, um, will be able to see those uh, or the requests from this specific fabric edge about this specific PC. You will see here, right? 
that is sending the radius access request and the host is the pc1.cparis.com so let's see what is the status of this pc okay you know it's taking uh, yeah th this is more about like the latency like the device is is not um working 100 percent you know uh, let's see if we can push this portion but eventually you will see that this change to um authenticate so yeah because it seems that i have let's try let's try suppose that i have access so what we can ping here as let's ping the dhcp because my dhcp is also my windows server 2019 which um is external to my fabric so let's see if i can ping from this pc okay you see that it's working but you know this latency is, is a lot. It's part of this lab. It's, it's, it's the, the, the catalyst Nike. Not really stable. That's, that's what I meant. Okay, but I have access. I mean, it's, it's working. This eventually this will change. So yeah, that's that's what I have in this video. Um, hopefully, you can find something that you can uh, apply in your lab. And thanks for watching.